Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can change many characteristics of the appearance of all or any part of the text within your document. You can change the font face and size of the text that's used. You can also bold, italicize, or underline text as well as change its alignment within your document. Before you can apply any of these changes, however, you must first select the text that you want to change. You can click and drag over text in order to select it. The text that is selected will then receive the changes that you make to its appearance. Non-selected text will not be changed. Once the text is selected, you can click any of the formatting buttons to apply changes to the text. If using Windows 8 or 7, the formatting buttons all appear within the font button group on the Home tab within the ribbon above the document window. If using Windows Vista, the formatting buttons all appear within the formatting toolbar above the document window. Now Font Family is the first selection on the Formatting section. You can click the drop-down box to see and select the particular font that you want to use for your text. Next you have Font Size. Here you can click the drop-down to select a font size, or simply click directly into the box and type a number for the size of font that you want. Clicking the bold button makes the selected text wider and darker. You can click it again to remove bolding. Clicking the italics button will slant the selected text to the right. Clicking the underline button will place a line under the selected text. By clicking the text color button, you can open the color selector and change the color of the selected text. Now if you're using Windows 8 or 7, you can set text alignment by using the buttons that appear in the Paragraph button group on the Home tab in the ribbon. These buttons still appear within the formatting toolbar in Windows Vista. Clicking any of the Align buttons will change the alignment or placement of the selected text. The three alignment buttons are Left Align, Center Align, Right Align, and Justify if you're using Windows 8 or 7. Justify alignment will align both the right and left sides of a paragraph except for the last line. Also in this grouping is the Start a List button, which is called the Bullets button in Windows Vista. Now by highlighting text and then clicking on the desired buttons, you can add symbols that can be placed on the start of each item within a typed list of items. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.